We're starting our 10 day road trip covering over 800 kilometers of extreme mountain roads through the Himachal Himalayas. Follow our adventures as we discover some of the most scenic landscapes in the world. We are here at Banjar Orchard Retreat in Thanedar up in the Himalayas. We took an overnight bus and then a private car. Really enjoying this place. We just have one night here. I definitely check this place out. It's really nice and very peaceful. The best apples in the apple harvesting time in Himachal Pradesh. And all the orchards are completely laden with apples. Mmm! We decided to take a small detour to visit the village of Sarahan. Now, Sarahan is popular for the temple, which reflects Indo-Tibetan style of architecture. The people from different villages around Himachal Pradesh, they pay visit to the temple and they enjoy the delicious food on the streets, namely jalebi, pakora and other regional food. This is actually the last place on Indian-Tibetan border. This is the last you can go up to. And uh, beyond this, nobody is allowed to go there. Behind that mountain is where Tibet begins. We're here at Nako Kinder Camps. We just got our glamping tents. They're really nice and comfortable. This is a sacred Nako Lake at sunset. This is called Tabo Monastery and this monastery has been there for the last 1000 years. Currently there are around 50 monks who live here and who stay here. They have this rule in Spiti where every second person from the family has to be a monk. It is a given. They have to come here. Today is a bright sunny day. The day couldn't be better to visit this beautiful monastery called Dhankar Monastery. The claim to fame for this monastery is this impossible looking landscape where where it is based at. It is situated on these conical mountains and the whole area around is very pretty. Come here and visit this monastery, Dhankar Monastery in Spiti. Tonight we are staying at probably one of the least explored part in Himachal Pradesh called Mud village. It lies in Pin National Park. It is also the base of legendary treks like Pin Parvati trek, Bhabha trek and this village, all the houses here are made in typical mud. We're here at the Langza homestay here in Langza, about 14,000 feet. And this is a tiny village way, way up here in the mountains. But this is the little village. There's just some homestays and some locals here. We're planning to stay two nights, but the elevation's just too bad up here. It's just too high. So we're going down to Kaza, which is probably in the 11,000, 12,000 range. I guess we're heading out to see a couple other little villages and then down to Kaza. It's a for Langza. I am at the world's highest post office. This is the place where you come and you buy this card and you post yourself in. It's called Hikim. It's also the world's highest polling station. It's at the height of 14,000 feet. We're going to go and post the card from the world's highest post office. So let's go. Okay, so I'm here at the world's highest post office. So I posted one card to myself and the other one I'm posting to my dad because whatever I am, it's because of my dad and I'm gonna buy a few more and I'll post it to the rest of the people. Let's see who are the lucky ones who will be getting a postcard from me. So yeah, when you come to India, you must visit this place called Hikim, which has got the world's highest post office. Is there an elevation anywhere? Yeah, we're approximately 15,000 feet. This is what they say is the world's highest village, the world's highest restaurant, and I use the world's highest bathroom. 
Be sure to watch part two to find out who we meet along the way and how two lives are changed forever.